All right, people, it's that time. It's Halloween. We just got fresh pumpkins to carve, and we are gonna carve them bad boys today. So we're gonna show you exactly how the Gilroys do pumpkin carving, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mine? First step, you gotta lay down newspaper on your table so you don't make a big giant mess. So these kids we know how to do that. Step two is you need to clean off your pumpkin. You gotta get all of the dirt and all that stuff off of there. So wipe your pumpkin down. We'll get a rag for you, Colin. Oh, well, Look at that. Look at that. Now this one, even though I'll we've cleaned spoons. it and scrubbed it with a I'll claw, it's still deformed, so you can't really get that off. So you make that the back. That's got to be the back, okay? Yeah. The next step is to cut off the top of the pumpkin. You want to cut almost an inch around, an inch and a half maybe, around the top Good, look. stem. So you get this big old giant lid, basically. Do be careful. Do we start on first? Make sure you use extreme caution, yeah, guys. Let the mind. adults use mind. the knives, unless you're perfectly prepared to cut off a finger. How far out do I go? I think you should go something like that. It's perfect. Oh my god. Make sure you're really careful now. I mean, actually, actually, here, here, here. Let me take that. You Let should take that. Take that. Here, here, oh my god, that. you look like you got stabbed. I just don't have enough strength. I mean, I just it. see this whole thing with pregnant belly. Carve two pumpkins at once. I don't, know. I don't, think, I don't think we should do that. Oh, you're almost there. His head's gonna be cut. Oh, oh yeah. Did you get it? Alright. Yeah. And bring it off. See if you can let it off. Pull it off. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> Next step is to take your spoon and get inside there and, and hollow out this pumpkin. Take all the seeds and all the fibers and everything out of there. And don't be afraid to use your hands, my friend. You want to trim this off too. Yeah, you gotta trim that off. Nothing good, pumpkin seeds. Get it! Oh! Twist it! There you go. Twist it! Oh yeah! Oh, look how thick that is. Oh my god. Let me see. Let me see. I now that we got the boys started on taking their stuff out, it's time to get started on ours. This is actually the first year the boys are actually digging in with their hands in the pumpkins. Oh my gosh. Previous years, Chase and I have to clean it out. They won't touch the stuff, the seeds and goo and stuff inside Ooh. of it. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot. Oh my god. Well, this will keep them entertained for a while at least. <laughs> now I'm gonna hollow out my pumpkin and help the boys get theirs done so we can start carving. <laughs> there you go, perfectly good pumpkin all cleaned out. Now she's ready to carve. Since Colin's pumpkin looks like the squash, it's kind of the shape of the squash from Plants vs. Zombies, that's what he wants. And I'm trying to figure out how to make that that's a double squash. translate you know, into a negative, which carving is a negative. So I might have to do some actual 3D carving, but we'll see. Okay. Check out your pumpkin, dude. Ah, that looks awesome. Is it good? Next. <laughs> now we're going to Carson's. Carson wants something a little more traditional like this. He wants a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin.
check it out. It's done. Ooh, that looks spooky. Is it spooky? Yes. Dad. Good job. Thanks for helping me. Alright. Alright, now we're moving on to my pumpkin, our pumpkin, me and Veronica's. And I wanted to try and do one of those, because traditionally we just cut them out. We don't do any carving. But I wanted to try with a basic, I think I can pull that off. So that's what I'm going for. Let's see if I can actually do it. How are you doing, honey? It's pretty cool. I think it's going to turn out. I want to get all this. I can't really see my vision until I get all this skin off. It looks a little tougher than what we had thought. But probably just because we don't have the right tools. Yeah, I'm doing We're this for improvising. The, for the cheapo pocket knife. <laughs> cheapo pocket knife. He's making some progress. That's actually pretty, pretty gosh darn cool. It's very time consuming and tedious. Yeah? But. Yeah, I think stuff like that actually becomes like a hobby for some people. During this time of the year. Yeah. All right, ready guys? Check out what I made. <laughs> I love it. It's cute for you. Perfect. Yeah, it's like. That's actually pretty baller, man. Yeah, like. I did like this. Long, big. When you're carving your pumpkin, you just want to come up with the coolest idea, just the scariest or funniest, whatever you want. That's the beauty of carving pumpkins. It's completely up to you. So figure out a design and just start cutting. I want to see your pumpkins. Make sure you tweet me pictures of your pumpkins that you've carved this Halloween because I'd like to see what everyone else come up with. The most important reason that you put the newspaper down is for this step right here. Because literally all you have to do is roll up the paper into one big ball and your whole mess is cleaned up. Unless you got some underneath like I did here. <laughs> but I did some pretty intense carving. I think you could agree. So I looked up uh, a recipe for chicken tortilla soup, and this is what I came up with. It's a little bit of all kinds of stuff thrown in a pot and been cooking all day. Got chilies, you got enchilada sauce, you got chicken, you got chicken broth, you got you tomato shell, you got. Let's see, what else you got? Got chilies, you got enchilada sauce, you got chicken, you got chicken broth, you got you tomato me? shell, you got. Let's see, what else you got? <laughs> <laughs> There's chicken and a whole bunch of spices. Oh, my uh, secret blood herbs and spices. The enchilada sauce, the um, little green chilies for the spice and tomatoes and cheese. I don't know, it smells delicious. I know that much. There it is. Holy macaroni. Tortilla. Veronica's never made tortilla soup before. This, this is her, my first, her first time. Any soup. Any soup ever? My first attempt at any soup. Well, you heard it there, folks. And I can tell just by the smell of it, this is gonna be super delicious. The new Yosemite OS X came out and I'm getting everything backed up and trying to move over to that. But I was thinking, why, why do we sit home and just wait while my computer stuff is happening? Why don't we go have fun? Play some games at the arcade. Arcade, dude, yeah. High five. High five. Mama wants to go to Yeah, the Fluffy can't go to the arcade. Nah. Where are we going? The arcade. Yeah, we're gonna play some games, right? Yeah, yeah. Hold the door for mommy. Oh, Colin, be a gentleman. Hold the door for mommy. Hold the door for mommy. Come on, people. Yay! Shoot the middle. Shoot the middle. Yes, yes. Oh, who's gonna get it? Carson. Carson, you win. Oh, yeah, dude. Look. Now you got tickets. Harder, harder. Even harder. harder. Oh. 
Yeah, bang it. Hit it. Sorry. <laughs> Push the gas, dude. Drive it. Stay out of the grass. Oh, no. There you go. <laughs> All right, Colin. Killing it. Hang on the road, buddy. Dang, that's pretty. 180 miles an hour. Oh, oh he lost them. Get him. Oh. The boys are going to battle it out on the air hockey table. Carson wins it. Good job, dude. You win. Hey, good game, Colin. You try. Let's, let's play again. <laughs> I'm running out of battery already. This sucks. There's only one token left. Wait. And they're gonna try this little guy. Oh, two tickets. You got two tickets? All right, Carson got 26 tickets and Colin got 21 tickets. Yeah, we're back at home. I Right as soon as the kids got their tickets and they were trying to get their stuff at the counter, my battery died. So, Carson only got four pieces of gum and Colin got two of those little, they're like little rubber half circle pieces that you flip them inside out and they pop and flap in the air. I mean, after we left the arcade, we, we just stopped at Sonic and got some milkshakes and slushies and came home. And I checked the mail and look what I got. Got my blackout housing for my GoPro. Pretty sweet. Nice little addition. Look, I'm sitting here watching TV and here's my homeboy. Alex Mandel. <laughs> Dude, if you haven't seen it yet, seriously deal with it. It's a funny, funny show. I'm sitting here laughing my ass on the couch. Oh, yes. Good morning, everyone. I. I fell asleep last night waiting on my, I had to do, I'm super excited because the new OS for my MacBook is out and I had to do a backup. It's always very, very wise to do a backup before you update your operating system. Just take it from me, I've lost stuff before. And we're gonna, hopefully, I don't know, are we gonna do the scary thing today or what? I don't know, I'm nervous about doing it. I wanted to take myself. the boys. You're not going through it, absolutely not. Well, you have to, I, I'll have to pay to get through it to That's get fine. to the other side. That's fine. We're, there's, this, there's this place down towards Lancaster. It's called the Haunted Farm, and they do, you know, like the scare house every Halloween. And it's the closest one to us, and my buddy Chad with the band Cross Otter, he's playing, they're playing there tonight. So I wanted to go and take the boys, but we're up in the air as far as, like, if the boys are gonna be traumatized. It did say, yeah. it did say on the website that if you have younger kids to let them know and they'll scare less. But. That doesn't sound fun to me. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna have to wipe <laughs> my ass when I leave. You can't <laughs> take the kids like that. I know, I know. So we're gonna make a decision as far as whether we do that today or not, but I'm gonna lean towards we definitely do. Because I want to do something Halloween yeah. before I go. Tomorrow we're leaving. Some people thought I was going to West Africa <laughs> to get yeah. Ebola. Some people thought I was going to the Outer Banks. Some people thought I was going to Rome with my mom, which would be fun. I am going to LA to stay with Roman and work on this movie. All of us together as a massive crew. It's going to be so much fun. And I'm pretty pumped. I can't wait. The only bad part of it is that I have to leave Veronica and the kids for 
couple days. I'm just gonna hibernate here. You're gonna hibernate? Okay. Mm -hmm. Just don't get Ebola, all right? I won't. <laughs> we're gonna try and do something fun. Hopefully we're gonna do something scary tonight. And uh, yeah, so that's about it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you right back here tomorrow.